What's up guys, Kittle has a new AI and it is very easy to use, very powerful. It integrates right into the normal Kittle user interface that we've grown accustomed to here on this channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple ways that I've been using it. I'm gonna demo how easy it is to use. That's one of the things I love most is you're gonna find it very, I keep saying it, easy to use, very intuitive, but that's something I really appreciate. I used to be a front-end web developer, so anytime that something takes seconds instead of minutes to figure out how to use, I really appreciate. I'm gonna show you all that, and they went ahead and they provided me a couple uh, little promotions for anybody that watches this video that wants to use the Kittle AI, so I'm gonna be sharing those with you as well. Let's get to it. In this video, I'm gonna demo Kittle's AI for you. It's supposed to go live in early April, but if you wanna join the waitlist using the link in the description, you can basically jump to the front of the line. Now, once you um, are able to access the AI, like I have a little bit of a preview here for the YouTube video, you'll notice it's on the left-hand side. You know how they have your projects, your templates, um, all the design elements, you know, the standard Kittle UI. Uh, but then down here, if you click Kittle AI, this is all you need to do to generate to, to, to leverage their AI to generate unique images on demand. For instance, why don't we say like a cute uh, kawaii style grapefruit family? What is a family of grapefruits? I don't know. Uh, now you get to select the image styles, so you can actually click show all, and they've got different styles: digital art, acrylic, steampunk, anime, psychedelic, art deco, painting synthwave, photography, vintage photo, oil painting, foggy scenery, impressionism, palette, palette knife, <laughs> and naive abstract. Interesting. How about we go with like synth, synth wave? Actually, no, that might be a little aggressive for some grapefruits. How about we just do like painting? I don't know. Let's, let's check it out. And I'm going to hit generate image. I'll show you some of the other stuff we can work with in a second. Um, but for now, let's just mess around with, uh, with this as is. Now, while it's generating, I wanted to mention that, oh, actually, here we go. So we've got <laughs> the painting style grapefruits, and they did actually figure out a way of making a family. That is cool. You can't really see the pores of the grapefruits, and that's something that I always think of. Have you guys had grapefruit lately, by the way? It's absolutely delicious. It's like electric. It makes you feel alive. <laughs> Free endorsement for grapefruit. Um, let's go back here. I'm just hitting show all, by the way. When you hit show all, uh, it lets you see all of the various image styles. Now, we can also jump down there to like clip art styles, but I want to see maybe the art deco. Um, let's try one more. So I'm going to hit generate image. Every time you generate a new image, by the way, guys, it uses an AI credit. And that's what I wanted to mention a second ago is that if you sign up using my link in the description to join the waiting list, you will get 100 AI credits for free. Yes, 100. So I just click to generate. That cost me one credit. You'll get to do that 100 times for free with Kittle's AI. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, so yeah, I think the Art Deco style um, definitely is a cool looking, a little bit more along the lines of what I expect we would work for print on demand. Um, and let's try one more. No, yeah, yeah. Let's go to psychedelic and maybe we switch it up. How about a, um, a pack of rabid wolves um, running through mountainous hills? I don't know how <laughs> exact we need to get, um, but we'll experiment there. Uh, also, while that generates, guys, you can also lock in a $15 discount on Kittle uh, if you use the code Ryan, R-Y-A-N. So make sure you take advantage of those. All right, so we gave it a lot of um, detail in terms of what we wanted it to output, and it did a decent job considering we did the psychedelic uh, design style. We knew we were going to get something that was a little bit out there. And uh, I think this is basically delivering what we had asked for. I don't know how else to how else to really put it. Um, why don't we mess around with some of the other clip art styles? So now I'm going to hit show all on the clip art styles. And you'll notice you can have like kawaii, uh, detailed drawing, color splatter, vintage, pencil, cyberpunk, 3D, watercolor, uh, product shot style, and marble style. So what if we did, um, well, we got to do the kawaii first and foremost. And why don't we just say a, when we say kawaii, it, it'd be, I don't know why my brain is like, do something angry because kawaii is always so friendly. So how about like a, um, a, a cute but bloodthirsty vampire and his angry parents. I don't know why, but let's just see if it gets like a cute and an angry. 
and shows that expression on their faces. Sorry for interrupting. I wanted to let you know that linked in the description, you can find my free print on demand mini course that is completely new for 2023. If you sign up, it'll help you get your first sale. And down there, you'll find a link to my print on demand Facebook group. I hope you'll join the community. All right, and we have our kawaii style vampire family. They are cute as requested. Now, what's something more along the lines of what we might actually um, use? Oh, by the way, Guys, they can do like patterns too. Um, check this out down here at the bottom. Uh, we should skip ahead. I, I mean, for me, I love selling like all over print style uh, products. Uh, for instance, like tumblers even, you know, tumblers sell all day. Well, how about like a cute pattern style? Um, why don't we just roll with the, the demo idea? Avocado, um, loving avocados pattern. Generate image. Let's see what it comes up with. And check that out. This is something that like Juna at Detour Shirts, you know, a professional graphic designer would create. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, I wonder if we could refine it by adding more detail. Uh, maybe we say, because I don't know if like the triple dots looks good. Maybe we say something like with two eyes and blushing on both cheeks. Maybe that will make a difference. I'm not 100% sure. By the way, you can just keep generating. Um, in terms of like what canvas to use or should you use a template like i just used a new project here <laughs> all right i put the put the avocado eyes um in the actual avocado seed so maybe less detail um maybe we just say like what if we just say avocados and hearts and here's our next avocado pattern and it did basically the same thing avocados and hearts it even took the liberty to um change the colors of some of the hearts also just take a step back and appreciate the color schemes i think that the AI is really good at picking complementary color schemes. That's something that shouldn't be overlooked. Um, we could experiment with this for days, guys. I don't want the video to go on forever. I'm going to keep you know, generating some examples, but feel free to use the link in the description. Get on the waiting list so you can have some fun messing around with this. Uh, detailed drawing. Let's say a ferocious black bear. And let's see if it comes up with anything similar to that little icon in the um, demo in the preview. Uh it is kind of crazy to see like AI can generate hand-drawn style imagery. That was the one thing I said that I, I kind of pride myself on. I'm decent at it. Uh, but now AI is just coming out and, you know, saying, hey, I can do it too. All right, so there's the black bear. That is kind of crazy. I mean, you could, you could definitely like come up with some, and let's see if we do hand-drawn. You could probably come up with some cool like wall art or something along those lines using graphics like that. Um, uh, out in the woods at dusk with trees in the background on uh cold soil i don't know if cold soil means anything to the ai but let's see if we can throw it for a loop here so with the hand drawn it looks like it doesn't really want to be given too much detail it didn't uh, want to generate the background there it probably would just take up more resources uh in terms of the clip art style how about the marble let's go with the marble a marble statue of a of two cherubs with wings and uh with wings one with a bow and arrow the other with a harp i've got to say that's pretty cool it did a decent job at coming up with just fake marble statues there on demand using the ai uh in terms of product shots like what do we just go when i think of products i'm like i don't know amazon fba how about a garlic press being used to mash up a a garlic clove now this is one where i'm like are they just going to google images and looking for similar designs and then trying to uh <laughs> i don't know like just tweak it in a way that it's a unique image like now this is definitely far from perfect this doesn't look like any garlic press i've ever used in terms of the product shot that's probably the one i anticipate myself using the least how about we do one more guys how about we go for like the color splatter and we just say a cute corgi puppy uh sitting all right and there you go that is the color splatter it did actually come up with what we asked that's the color splatter it's a corgi puppy cute sitting lots of different colors but it stands out great against the white background uh, guys, Kittle's AI, you can have fun playing with it for hours, especially using the 100 free credits you get if you use the link in the description. They want to build that waiting list up and build the hype around their new AI tool, so please do that. And code Ryan saves you $15 too if you want to join Kittle and become a premium member. 
guys let me know what your thoughts about their ai how does it stack up against other ones that you've used this is built directly into Kittle's app, which makes it real easy for us to create high-end print-on-demand designs. You know I love their templates. I pretty much talk about them all the time when I'm using Kittle. And now they've got the AI to complement what was already really powerful. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Please hit that like button on your way out and subscribe if you're not already. Over half of you guys aren't subscribed. And I will see you tomorrow with a new video.